So if you have a vehicle and you think you have a bad transmission control module, TCM, I thought I'd go over the symptoms of a bad transmission control module and how you go about telling if it has failed. And so first of all, what is a transmission control module? Well, basically the transmission control module just uses various different input sensors to choose the best gear for the vehicle to be in at any given time. And depending on the vehicle, there could be many different sensors. There could be wheel speed sensors, and there can even be sensors inside of the transmission. And so if the transmission control module is having a problem, then the shifting of the vehicle is also going to have a problem. And so what are some symptoms of a bad transmission control module? Well, a very common symptom is that it's going to go into limp mode. And this basically means that the onboard computer is just going to shut down all unnecessary things and you're not going to be able to drive very fast. Very likely it's going to limit the vehicle from going past second gear. You go to rev up the engine and you can't move very fast and things like this. When a vehicle goes into limp mode, it's basically just the computer giving you time to pull off the road. And so if you do go into limp mode, just find a safe place to pull over until you can fix the problem. And other symptoms that can happen is that it could be hard shifting. There could be a delayed shifting. There could be trouble downshifting. It could be stuck in a gear. When it does downshift, it's just not downshifting correctly. The transmission might be overheating. It could shift on you unexpectedly. And quite often when you go to step on the gas, the engine will roar really loudly and it'll have trouble going into gear. It'll have problems shifting. So the main symptoms is going to be that there's issues with the transmission when it's time to shift gears. There's just something going on with the transmission. It's not shifting right. And many vehicles, when this happens, they go into limp mode. And so how do you go about telling if the transmission control module has failed? Well, the main way you're going to be able to tell is you go and read for any transmission error codes. And this will point you to what the problem is. For example, if you get a P0700 code, it's going to tell you that there's a transmission control system error. Well, not all scan tools can read transmission error codes. So if you don't have a scan tool that can read transmission error codes, you can call around to like auto parts stores and things like this. And quite often they'll have one that can read transmission error codes and they'll come out and scan your vehicle for free. If you need an OBD2 scan tool that can read transmission error codes, I'll put a link down below in the description. But basically you read the error codes and the error code is going to point out what the problem is. And in some cases it won't be the transmission control module, but it could be one of the sensors that send an input to the transmission control module. For example, if you get a C003A code, it's a right wheel speed sensor. And basically every single wheel has a speed sensor. And in this case, the right wheel speed sensor is having an issue and very likely it just needs to be replaced. So scanning for any error codes is going to be the main way to tell what's going on inside the vehicle. You can also look to see if you have any blown fuses or bad relays. Every vehicle is going to be a little different on how these are laid out or where they're located. But you can go and look and see if you have any bad fuses or relays. You can also locate where the TCM is at inside of your particular vehicle. It can really vary on where it's located. Sometimes it's in the engine compartment. Sometimes it's inside of the vehicle, like up behind the dashboard. Sometimes it can even be inside of the transmission itself. But if you go and locate it, you can check it out, see if any damage has happened to it. You can check out the wiring and see if you can see any physical damage to it. Because sometimes rodents and things like this can get up there and chew on wires or different things can happen. But you can go physically inspect the module and the wiring just to see if you see any physical damage going on. But again, the main way you go about telling that the TCM has failed is to read for any error codes that might be on the computer. Like I said, automotive stores usually will do this for free. If you can't get the vehicle to an automotive store and you need a scan tool that can read transmission error codes, I'll put a link down below in the description. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to go over the symptoms of a bad transmission control module and how you go about telling if it has failed. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.